Uncle George, the curious little monkey. He's so full of curiosity. Here's to George, the curious little monkey. He's as curious as curious can be. Curious George goes to the shoemaker. George, said the man with the yellow hat, I have to get my shoes repaired. Why don't you come with me to the shoemaker? They got into their little blue car and drove off. First, the man gave his shoes to the shoemaker. I have to do some shopping, George, he said. Wait here for me and don't get into trouble. George looked around. The shoemaker had gone back to his bench and was gluing a heel to a shoe. The telephone rang and the shoemaker went to answer it. When he was gone, George climbed on the bench and inspected everything. He was curious. There were men's shoes, women's shoes, and children's shoes. There were heels, soles, and a pot of glue. Fixing shoes looked like fun. George picked up a woman's white shoe, found a red heel, and glued it on. What next? He picked up the other white shoe and glued on a sole. But it was much too big. Just then, a customer came in. She was the owner of the white shoes. Hello, Mrs. Grimke, said the shoemaker. I will have your shoes in just one minute. He went back to the bench. And there was George and Mrs. Grimke's white shoes. What have you done, shouted the shoemaker. It was time to get away. George jumped down and hid behind a curtain. Now I have to undo the damage you've done, said the shoemaker. Wait until I get my hands on you. George was trapped. Or was he? The shelves were filled with boots, running shoes, and roller skates. Outside, a crowd of people were gathering. What's going on? asked somebody. Look at that monkey, shouted somebody else. And there was George, rolling around and around with a boot, a running shoe, and a pair of roller skates. They clapped and cheered. I like that boot, said a woman. Mom, can I buy these roller skates? asked a boy. George just kept rolling around and around, first on one foot, then on the other, and then on both. Soon, people came rushing into the shoemaker's store. I want those boots in size six, said a woman. Can I buy a pair of skates for my son, said a man. Where did you get that monkey, asked another. Suddenly, George felt a tug on his ear. It was the shoemaker. But now, he was smiling. I was angry when you fooled around with Mrs. Grimke's shoes, he said. But you brought me all these new customers. Can you come back tomorrow? I'm afraid not, said the man with the yellow hat. George is coming home with me. But before you go, said the shoemaker, here's a little something for you. And he gave George a big box. Don't open it now. Please wait until you get home. As soon as they got home, George opened the box. What a surprise!